What's up? It's your boyfriend Dizzy here. I hope you guys are doing well. The weather is very gorgeous right here. And this is just a test, guys. This is just a test of um, the new 4X. I'm just gonna call it 4X, okay? I know it's Insta360 4X or X4. I forgot the name, but I'm just gonna call it 4X, okay? This is just a road test of the 4X 360. I'm calling it all kind of names. But I did the unboxing a few days ago, and today I just want to bring it out here. Before I put it on the bad boy, I want to wrap it up here and just see how well it's going to perform. Now, you guys are watching and listening to the raw footage coming out of this camera. Um, right now, I'm cruising on my one wheel Heinz. I have had this machine for, I would say, about five years and more, if I'm not mistaken. And it has done me nothing but good. And today, what a good way, a best way to try this out. So here I am on the one wheel, just ripping it around in the park to just test the sound and the video quality and see how it's going to perform. And I have no doubt that this is going to perform very well. Um, as you guys can see right now, or you probably cannot see it, I do not have the selfie stick. I don't see need for it right now. Uh, that is not the reason why I purchased this machine. I'm mainly going to use this for my motor vlogging. And personally, I don't see the need in, you know, in buying it. So... I'm holding this camera in arm reach, about the same height or the same length, I'm sorry, about the same length as my handlebar on my motorcycle. And that's exactly how I'm gonna be riding it. So if this passed the test, then we are golden. If it doesn't pass, oh well, I'm gonna find a new alternative to make this work. Yeah, baby. Look around you guys. It looks so beautiful. It looks so gorgeous. The skies are popping. Man, oh man, God is good. God is good. Anyways, so that's exactly what I'm doing. All the um, audio that you're hearing is coming straight out of this camera. I have no processing, no EQ, no nothing. Everything is raw. The photos or the pictures that you're looking at right now, the videos, is pretty much the same thing. I'm cruising about 15 miles per hour right now. Man, I think the only thing that I need to do is get a remote or connect this to my Apple Watch so I can have the data, the GPS data to overlay it on the um, on the screen. But I'm cruising at least, I'll say about 15 miles per hour. And uh, I don't know, it's a little bit windy. Just, just a little bit windy. Oops, oops, all right, Grant. Hey, 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 watch it, watch it now. All right, yeah, I'm a little rusty, but hey, we gonna do it anyway. But anyways, um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm cruising about 15 miles, 16 miles per hour right now, and I don't know how the wind sounds like. Um, but uh, I just want to know how it's gonna uh, it's gonna perform in this little test. Um, ooh, there's a lot of bugs here. I have no doubt that this is gonna pass. Okay, now when I did unboxing video, um, I'll put it somewhere over there. I don't know if I said it already, but now I was missing. The cap, I told you guys the reason why I chose the X4 over um, over the X3, because the X3 or the 3X, whatever the name is, it's actually cheaper, okay? But um, I chose this over that because of the lens um, cap. They have a, a little filter that you can mount and put on it. Ooh, let me just turn around, guys. I'm doing all this for you guys, all right? So... Show some love. Show some love to your boy, all right? <laughs> I'm getting hit by these bugs, man. Um, yeah. So, I told you guys the reason why I bought this over the um, the X3 or 3X or whatever it is. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm going to put a name on the screen. Um, because of the removable lens filter, it protects your lens, all right? Now, let me tell you guys a little funny story. So, after I did my unboxing video... Um, I was just playing, you know, I was holding it, playing around with it in, the, in my studio, and 
<laughs> I think I knock it uh, at the edge of my table and I'm like, no way. So hear me out. When I went and bought this camera, right? This is a true story. The guy at Best Buy, shout out to Best Buy. He's like, hey, Mr. Grant, do you wanna um, buy a extended warranty? I said, nope, I don't need no extended warranty. Um, guys, as soon as I, um, I finished that unboxing and experienced what I experienced in my studio, guys, <laughs> I ran back uh, to Best Buy the following day. I'm like, yup, hey, I need an um, extended warranty. So, um, yeah, you, you, you're gonna need your standard warranty, you know, although this lens is protected, okay? Um, ideally, this is not how I'm gonna use this camera. I'm gonna ride it on my bike, but um, maybe later on the day I might do a video, but I just wanna, you know, put it on here, rip it up and see how it performs. I just, I just wanna see how it performs, all right? And um, let me turn around, all right? And you can imagine if anyone here watching, if you if you've ridden one wheel before, you know what is called a nose dive. So as look look at the way I'm exposed on this uh, one wheel. I mean, there's no protection. There's nothing. I mean, if if, if this is on the bike, at least it'll be protected with a uh, handlebar and it'll be you know steady on there. Now, if I take a nose dive on this, <laughs> we going down straight, and the chances of this camera surviving it's very zero or at least the lens okay i don't know how durable it is um they say it was it's, it, it's made out of some kind of plastic you know and they have another one um a premium one that is made of a glass but i've heard some few complaints about it where they say that um it create um some kind of blur and then uh, on top of that it catches a lot of dust i don't know how true that is Maybe I guess I'm gonna have to buy one and then see how it, it, you know, it works. But at least that's what it's saying. So I'm just gonna go with that. But bottom line is, it will not be fun if you take a nose dive on this thing. I mean, you're going down and the lens is going down. So um, yeah, I bought me a extended warranty just for peace of mind, okay? And another thing that I'm gonna tell you guys also, the reason why I'm not using the uh, selfie stick or uh, invisible stick whatever they call it this camera is heavy it's built like a tank all right it's very steady it's very robust and initially when you hold it in your hand i mean you can feel the weight but it, it doesn't weigh i don't know the exact weight if i find it i'll throw it underneath the, uh, the screen but let me tell you guys something man if you put this if you mount this at the edge of your invisible stick or your selfie stick, maybe four feet or more or whatever, that talk alone, you, you're gonna feel it. Like right now, I'm moving back and forth because my arms are hurting. Like I can feel the pain like all over here. So I'm glad I didn't buy this camera for that kind of application. So at least I don't have to worry about it. But maybe every once in a while, maybe I, might go out as a family or you know anything and I might end up using it just like this but guys I've been ripping around for I don't know five minutes or maybe seven minutes and my arms already tired okay I don't know if I switch my arm how it's gonna look in the stitching actually let me go ahead and do it yep I just switched my arm and then I put it on the other way um but yeah, I, I don't even feel right on this machine. But guys, I'm telling you, this, it's heavy. I feel like I'm holding about four pound camera right now in my hand. So if you wanna use it for uh, your invisible sticks and all that kind of stuff, your selfie stick, just be mindful and know that uh, it's not gonna be lighter as <laughs> it feels like whenever you do your unboxing, okay? Uh, let me switch back my arm and then rip it apart. Rip it up around here again and uh, just end this video. And uh, everything else that you guys are gonna be seeing is gonna be on the bike. Um, but I believe and I have no doubt that this is gonna perform very well. Like I said, I'm, I'm cruising about 15 miles per hour and it's just a little bit windy. I, won't, I wouldn't even say it's windy. 
It just it's so breezy. It's just breeze. What's up, guys? Come on, come on. Look at my little friends. Come here, come here. Ooh, keep going. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? You better come here. You know who I am? I'm Grand Diesel. Come here. No. All right, all right, all right. All right, guys. Let, 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 let me let just leave you alone. <laughs> I wish I had me a fries here so I can um, feed them. You know, they're going to come to me if I have food. Because I don't have no food, they don't want to mess with me. But that's okay. That's all right. But, um, ooh, my feet is hurting. Let me just pause for a little bit. Ooh, okay. So, that was a very bad dismounting right there, by the way. Um, yeah, my arms are hurting, guys. This is not a joke. It feels like I'm holding about five pound camera in my hand, okay? So just keep that in mind if you're gonna, um, if you're gonna mount this um, at, a, at a selfie stick or whatever, once you extend it more, the heavier it becomes. So just keep that in mind. I'm pretty sure you guys know about it before you buy it. But um, yeah, just, just a quick test on this uh, camera. And um, I'm gonna head back to my car, go home, put it together, get me something to eat, and relax a little bit. And if I have some time today, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hop on the bike and then give you guys some new content, okay? Like I said, this the reason why I bought this is because um, it's gonna allow me to let you guys see more of my surroundings okay so I'm gonna use this as my B cam actually you can use this this is about 20 in one camera I can get so many shots you know but my A cam that I use is uh, the action 4 the DJI action 4 that's what I use um, I like it like I said I'm not gonna say that camera is better than this one or this is better than the other one or the action the real action cam they both have their own place, okay? They have their own place and time. Remember, these are tools. So, depend on how you wanna use it, they, they, they just tools. So, like I said, I'm not gonna say this is better than uh, the action cam or, you know, and the funny thing about this camera is you can shoot this, you can use this as an action cam. You can shoot uh, one single lens mode I believe that's what they call it and uh it will turn into an action cam okay so um they're both great tools i love them i'm not gonna get rid of them because i have two action cams in the house i'm not gonna get rid of them because again i can see the place and time for both of them or all of them so without much said thank you so much for joining me on this very short little 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 titty 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 episode and always remember, whenever you hop on your one wheel, make sure you have all your gears on. Although Grant is guilty here, I only have my helmet, no knee pad, no elbow pads, but you don't want to take no nose dive, man. And watch out, watch out for the, uh, the, uh, the pushback. Whenever you get a pushback, just trust me. <laughs> it happened to me one time, and I don't care how good you are, it has happened to if you ride one wheel you have taken a nose dive um if if, if you never taken a nose dive just leave a comment down below let me know mine it was brutal man it was bad i'm not even gonna go into details man i rip off my jeans and my arms dude my face half of my face my thigh was just ripping on it man nah, i'm not even gonna go there but yeah, just make sure you guys are protected before you get on a one wheel, okay? So, thank you so much. This is my real world testing on this uh, X4. And I will see you guys on the other side. Peace!